STOW is out, boys. Let's go ahead and get to the methods. Before we do get into that, I do want to give a quick little apology. I already gave this in my other video, so I'm just going to give this one even shorter. If you want to hear the other apology, it's a little bit more thought out, and but I'm sorry for not being very consistent. I'm trying to find passion in this. I do not enjoy college football, nor do I enjoy Madden right now. It's very hard to find passion in it, but I still want to be consistent with these videos. Uh, Give me a little, just a few more days to just kind of just give me a little break so I can come back. I'm a little burnt out right now, but I'm going to come back better and hopefully just be more consistent with it. Now, let's go ahead and get our verse today. More, make sure you do subscribe to join the giveaway. Comment down below. Do all those new, neat little things. The verse today is going to be from Romans chapter 8, verse 11. It says, If the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he who raised Christ Jesus from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies through his spirit who dwells in you. So, neat little verse. Let's go ahead and get into S-O-T-W, Field Phenoms. Now, this did literally just drop like 20, 30 minutes ago. So, starting off with the methods, going to the store, let's open our daily recruit packs as we do every single day. Now, we don't have any content in Mutt right now, which obviously this is a cut video, but we don't have any content in Mutt right now. So, cut is going to be the wave right now. Everyone's going to be on cut. Everyone's going to be on the content. So, that means the market's going to be really, really active. Wow. We don't see that on cut much, do we? No. But anyway, going to be pretty active. Uh, if we go ahead and look, we do have two LTDs in packs right now. We did get that Diego Pivia and then that Eli Stowers, Stewers, Stowers, however you say that. But looking at a program going to Field Phenoms. I will go ahead and go into some things. Now, I'm going to be posting in the Patreon some even better methods. But for right now, looking at it, you do have an 84-plus reroll in the store. So 84-plus is going to be really active. Now, 84s are selling at around um, 14,000 coins. As you can see, unfiltered price, 14,000 coins. And obviously, as you just saw, we can get these at literally 9,000 coins and lower. And I don't even think this is filtered down to the max either, which it's not. So as you can see right here, you can get them at 9,200 coins. I would buy them at literally anything under 10, get anything under 10, post back up for 14. You're going to be able to make two to 3K each snipe. And that's going to be some really good profit throughout the hours. Some really good profit throughout the hours. So that is going to be the first thing. Now, the second thing, if we go ahead and look, we can also go to 86 and 87, which we'll look at 85s in just a second. If we look at 86, 87, if we just look at them in general, 86s are selling at about 25,000. And 87s at about, oh, I'm tired. And 87s at about 30,000 coins. So you're going to want to get these under like... I would say 25K for 87s, 25K for 87s, 86s, you're going to want to get them at like 22, 23,000 coins. So if, as you can see, 23,000 coins right there, you can go in and post that back up for about 26, probably make some pretty good coins right there. So in terms of sniping, that's what we're going to go into for today. I'll show you some more stuff on the Patreon if you check that out, some even better methods. Now, if you do want to look at the 90 overall Field Phenoms champ, you can look at this. Uh, this is going to be a 90 overall Field Phenoms champ player. You're not going to get to pick, though, so it is a little bit of a risk. That is why I'm telling you about it right now is because you could be doing that and taking the risk. If we go ahead and look, we go to Field Phenoms, and we look at the 90s that you can possibly get right now. You can get one that costs 500. Oh, that's an LTD. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. 90 overalls. You get 500K right there. You've got some other ones that are really expensive, 118, 338, and so forth and so on. So... There are some really expensive 90s right now. If you do want to try that, it is going to be a little bit of a risky set. You could either lose 100,000 coins or make 500,000 coins. So it is completely up to you. Now, in terms of the rest of the methods, if we head over to my items, uh, I actually, I don't know if I have it in my inventory anymore or my items anymore. I do not. Actually, I didn't even really look. Uh, I do. Okay, so as you can see right here, I pulled this base Albertans Stadium. As you can see, it's selling for 20,000 coins. Now you're asking, why in the world are you telling me about this? I'm telling you about this right now because this is the next method we're going to be looking into. As you can see, I just sold that playbook for 26,000 coins. 26,000 coins. You can see this LSU one not really selling for much. But if you want to go ahead and head over to the store, you want to head over to general offers, and you want to head over to the team pack. If we go all the way over, you're going to see the team pack. This pack costs 3,500 coins, and what I just showed you, I sold for 26,000 coins. 
I pulled from this pack right here. If you go ahead and open this pack, you can get some pretty nice things. If anything sells for above 3,000 coins, I would go ahead and sell it. And if not, as you can go in and see, you're going to get three items from this. It costs 3,500 coins, and you can literally quick sell this all for just 2,500 coins. So you're going to lose 1,000 coins. You're going to lose 1,000 coins if you don't get anything good. But you have a chance of pulling things that are literally worth 20,000 coins coins as you literally saw i saw that boys boozy state it's a it's a boozy state uh stadium uh and, and literally sold it for twenty six thousand coins so i literally 10x to my money 10x to my coins now i would sell anything above three thousand coins if not go through here boom 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 quick sell it and now if we don't get anything within like 10 packs we'll go ahead and quit but this method is going to be the absolute best the absolute best method for people with less than 150,000 coins, with people with 50,000 coins. Honestly, if you have 80K or more, I would be doing this. If you have 80K or more, I would be doing this. I would open as many as possible. The odds of you making are going to be very, very high. You could probably go from about 80,000 to 300,000 in maybe four to five hours of this. The worst and only bad part of this is waiting for stuff to sell. That's the only bad part about this is just waiting for the things to sell. And if, as long as you can get through that part, you're going to be absolutely fine. Appalachian, uh, St. Mountainers, they're not selling for much. So I'm just going to leave it alone. And you can just keep going through these. And if you don't find anything, now I do have a screenshot of kind of what you want to pull, what you don't want to pull from these. If you want to check that out, it's in the Discord. It's in the pin uh, stuff in the Discord. As we're getting a Miami, are this is this good? No, it's not. Okay, so I know the Oregon uh, uniforms are really good. I'm not sure if these are any good. I don't think they are. No, so there's a lot of them that are selling for like 20 to 30K though. I mean, there's a lot of Rutledge offense. Oh my gosh, if you pull that, you're a millionaire. I mean, it's literally selling for like 20, 30,000 coins. We're going to open this one as our last one and we're going to be done as we're going to get Tulsa Golden Hurricane uniforms. Those don't sell for anything. Let's see if we have anything else. Now, if you do want to go the long route and you literally don't want to lose anything, like literally anything, you can sit and sell everything. So this right here, 1,900 coins. You can sell every single thing and you will profit each and every time. Now, for context, you're only going to be able to open like 10 or 15 before everything on your auction house is filled up. So if you want to do that, you can. If not, I wouldn't really do it unless... I would do that if you have less than like 50 to 60,000 coins. If you have more than 50 to 60,000 coins, I wouldn't be doing it. So that's the methods for today, boys. I hope you guys did enjoy. I hope it did help. I'll see you boys in the next one. Peace.